Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have my PR bag for my Ipsy Glam Bag. We're gonna do this today. I do have my Glam Bag Plus, but I got a notification that the one that I purchase every month is already in transit on the way. So I'm gonna hold off on unbagging that one and we're gonna do a PR versus paid um, Ipsy and bagging when that gets in. So I can't wait to see which one is gonna be the better bag. Nine times out of 10, it's the one that I paid for, which I am perfectly fine with. Now I actually did cancel my Ipsy Glam bag for the month of November, just trying to save a little funds because I do have my Christmas giveaway coming up very shortly and that's gonna be a hefty shipping payment. So I'm trying to save as much as I possibly can. Plus I got my son's birthday and we have Thanksgiving and then there's Christmas shopping and <sighs> just trying to save some money. <laughs> So this is our Ipsy Glam bag for the month of November. I am not fond of this bag at all. For those of you who love animal print, you might love this. I am not an animal print lover, so mm, I, I'm not excited for this bag, but it's what's inside that really, really matters. So uh, we're going to open this up. And the theme for this month is um, creature comforts it says the weather outside is getting frightful but we've got you covered with all things delightful cozy up to this month's array of creature comforts nourishing skin care at home treatments uh and feel good makeup for guaranteed beauty bliss we'll see about that okay so the first item is a little palette uh, i typically don't keep these um just because i am more of a larger palette kind of person. I don't really like the smaller palettes, but these colors are really pretty. Ooh, they're really, really pretty. You got like this champagne color, like a pinky shimmer color, and then two mattes. So two mattes, two shimmers. I'm not gonna touch it, but I do wanna open it so you guys can see it. Um, it's a very, very, very pretty palette, but my collection is quite big. So I'm pretty sure I have colors uh, very similar to this, but I'm telling you, they look stunning. Oh, that is so pretty. Uh, but the next item is, I'm pretty sure I've had this before. I don't think I've tested it out yet, but I, I'm, I'm pretty certain I've gotten this before. Um, this is the It Lash Blowout Mascara. I need to look through my mascaras and see what I have, what I don't have, or or what I need to try because if I, like I said, I'm really, really almost certain that I have this in my collection, but I don't think I've tried it yet. So if I do have it, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the giveaway as well. I do think that is a solid repeat. The next item, this is different. I, I've never gotten this item before. Uh, this is from Gloss Mod Modern. Mm, sorry. Clean Luxury Perfume Oil. So I have never, ever received a perfume. So this is actually quite interesting. So I guess the scent is universal, universal, but it looks like it's spelled a little bit differently. Now, <clears throat> with perfumes, um, I think if it is in your bio and you're allowed to kind of navigate what kind of scents that you like and what kind of scents that you don't like, then I think this is really good to be in someone's bag. However, um, I think when I did my Ipsy questionnaire, I definitely did not click perfumes just because perfumes can be, it's so personal because, you know, everybody likes different scents and it's really hard to send one out that people will universally like. Um, but, that's not bad. That's not bad. I don't want to really put it on my arm because it's like nighttime, but we're gonna like put it on a paper towel so I can like really get a, a good whiff. I like that it's a roller ball. That is nice. Oh, that's like a, kind of like a fresh clean scent. I like that. 
I could see myself wearing this. Oh, I can definitely see myself wearing this. And you know what? It's actually a really good size bottle and a little bit goes a long way. Uh, speaking of perfumes, okay? Just to FYI, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out here that feel the same way that I do. When you are trying to wear a perfume, do not, do not cover your perfume in head to toe. There is no reason, no reason to do that. Um, there was this lady that used to come in where I work and the moment she hit the door, the whole entire restaurant filled up with her perfume and it made me sick. Not because it was like really bad, it was just so overpowering and you don't know what somebody's reactions are gonna be. It could have stunk to somebody, but it just, it was so overwhelming for me. It made me physically ill every time she would come in and it would just overpower everything that was going on until maybe an hour after she left. So, with that being said, um, you know, a couple dabs here and there. Uh, some people like to like spray it and walk in it. You don't need to bathe in it. <laughs> I am just putting that out there for you guys. That is like a pet peeve of mine. Um, I, I know we all like smelling nice and smelling good, but don't bathe in the damn perfume, guys. But I will probably wear that to work tomorrow. <laughs> I'll just do a dab here and a dab here and then I'll be done. I don't need to like douse myself in perfume. Um, okay, so moving on, our next item is from M2U from by NYC. This is a matte liquid lip. Very pretty color. Definitely represents fall. And this is in the shade Queens. Let's give this a swatch. Oh, kind of got like a cookie flavor. <laughs> Ooh, that is very pretty. I like that. I love berry colors in the fall. They are some of my absolute favorite. Oh, I cannot wait, wait to do a look with this. Uh, the lipstick I actually have on today, where'd it go, uh, is from Kaja Beauty. They actually sent this to me in PR and I kind of want to do like a little video of like um, using all Kaja products for one makeup look. I thought that would be fun. Uh, this is in the Love Swipe in the color 01 Call Me. So this is actually pretty similar. Pretty similar. I would say that the other one is darker. So uh, if you can't find this one, this one could be a very 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 close shade so yeah and I like the Kaja Beauty ones because they are comfortable on the lip it doesn't really dry out my lips so that's always a plus to me and we have one last item and oh ooh, okay we getting all kinds of different things in this bag so this is a Juicy Couture Honey Bee Wild Honey Creamy Vanilla and Orange Blossom soy candle. Ooh, I love candles. <sighs> that smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. I've never gotten a candle ever in Ipsy. That is so freaking cool. So this is what the, the top looks like. Sorry, guys. That is what the top looks like. And just a nice little candle. I love the scent. I love the scent. Oh, I cannot wait to light this baby. So, you guys, you know what? This is actually a pretty good Ipsy bag. It's very interesting, very different than what I get. I don't normally get items uh, that I've gotten in this bag, and I, I like that. <laughs> so, we got the candle, which smells amazing, and I mean, I love candles, so that's awesome. We got the perfume, which like I said, I've never received a perfume in my Ipsy before. It's a really, really decent size because a little bit goes a long way and it smells good. So we got lucky there. <laughs> oh, I love that clean scent. Um, and then we got the eyeshadow palette, which is really, really pretty. We got the mascara, which, I mean, I love mascaras, so that's definitely right on point. And we got the full-size matte lip um, in a very, very pretty shade, 
perfect for fall. So this is a hit. This is definitely a hit. I'm very excited with this. I cannot wait to open my Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses. Um, that one needs to hurry up and get here <laughs> so I can do the comparison. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.